Eric, Danette, Jace driving, and Lauren back there. We are heading to Tennessee to McGee Homestead to pick up our pig. It is 1.17 in the morning. We're going on a seven hour trip there and seven hour trip back. I must say I am beside myself. <laughs> uh, for this journey, we're gonna try and make it back in one day. And it's a long ways. And I know you can't see me, but we are going up there to meet Micah McGee, his family. And uh, y'all just pray for us. If this was live, I would say pray for us because it's a long trip. And uh, we are headed up to Tennessee. This is Eric with Perry Hill Farms. We'll keep y'all updated as we make the trip and hopefully as it gets more light where you can see us. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. More to come. All right, guys. Back at you. We've had all had naps. Switch drivers. Switch drivers. Got Dianette driving now. And we just crossed the Tennessee line. We're coming into the mountains. Let me turn it around like that. Maybe y'all can see. And uh, just wanted to give you a little update. Like I said, we're snaking through these valleys. The roads is curvy and I'm not a good rider. He is not. You asked any of these drivers, I'm not a good rider. Makes me nervous, but nevertheless, I'm fighting the fear. We're dredging on. We're looking for a gas station. We're looking for a gas station. Or are we going to be going a lot slower than we going right now? That's for sure. Uh, but anyway, we'll uh, catch back up with y'all in a little while. Hopefully be uh, to the McGee Homestead here in an hour or so, two. Something like that. Anyway, we'll catch back up with you. Guys, we up here in Tennessee. I guess what, North Tennessee? Are we North? Dead Central. Dead, dead Central, Central, Tennessee. North and South, East and West. I got you. Dead Central. Pretty we much. We're right in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> we rode up here today to McGee. Uh, what is yours? McGee Homestead? McGee Homestead Adventures, yeah. That's it. Adventures. That's what I was trying yep. to think of. 
and uh, we come up here to get one of his mangalites of pigs, and uh, we want to try one, and uh, we heard a lot of different folks talking about it and all, and we've been watching a lot of Micah's videos, and if you hadn't tuned into his channel, you sure should. Um, like I said, it's McGee Family Adventures, mm -hmm. or McGee Homestead Adventures. I'll get it right here in a minute. <laughs> and uh, But just seeing how him and his family and all work, and how they enjoy each other's company and all, it's inspirational. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you hadn't checked out his homestead, I mean his channel about his homestead, you need to watch it. Give him a shout and give him a like and subscribe to his channel. Let him know Perry Hill Farm sent you. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. And like I say, we just gonna get us one of his pigs and we ain't gonna beat around long, but we, gonna, we got a seven hour drive back to Alabama. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> back to that warm weather. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah like I said, y'all had a lot colder weather up here than we have, man. Uh, we we done we got corn up by high. Really? Sure do. And uh, like I said, I picked a mess of English peas. Me and my wife and my son and my daughter-in-law, I call her, and uh, cause she's fixing to be in May. All right. And uh, but we picked a mess of English peas. I guess two days ago now, or wow. three. Yeah. And uh, but it it was nice to get the canner out and yeah put some some food in some jars and oh man get it going you know and uh but like i said if y'all hadn't checked out his channel please do so thank you the only thing about them is if you let them go too long they get too fast yeah you know, the my neighbors over here are the ones that originally got me started again. look at them they're they so cute last two a uh, year old and there were 308 or 310 something like that and they were perfect I got you. The bacon looked great. Mine was 360, and I mean, it was literally, the belly was that thick. Yeah, I've um, seen, seen them. Yeah, it was just tough. Me and Jace killed our two last week. Uh-huh. Okay. He's a nice. Yeah, look at yeah. him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I can look it up. Mm -hmm. they're, they're about an hour from us or so. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take a look at their greenhouse. Okay. Me and Lauren are, you can order yeah. a lot of seeds. are uh, even up here. very fond of it. Look at it. Man, it's so nice. If you order something, so we're gonna get to take a tour. We're excited about that. I guarantee you get and see what's inside of there. So. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, okay, guys. There's Jace. Lauren and I wanted to take a tour of the greenhouse, and we love. This greenhouse would love to have one. And um, tell me, Mary. Mary is going to give us a little tour. Look at her greenhouse of what she's got going in here. Um, I'm going to show you. Just do a little span here. We have, she has a little bit of everything. So if you want to, Mary, you can go around. I love that name, by the way. That's beautiful. You can tell me what you have planted there. Strawberries. I see the strawberries there. Onions. Onions. Different kinds of pumpkins and romaine lettuce. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Cherokee tan pumpkins. Do you have some there? We, we planted some last year. Those have been good. I've cooked those in some of my stuff. Mostly butternut. Butternut, uh-huh. And then tomatoes, pretty much. All the, way, all the way down. Some cilantro. And that's cilantro there, right? That is larkspur. It's a, it's a flower. Oh, okay. Okay. And then there's um, tomatillos, um, pink tomatoes, uh -huh. more sunflowers, and then these are different kinds of flowers. Uh huh. So uh, y'all have never mm -mm. grown those? Nope. What are you, what's your plans for those? Um, probably put them in like Mexican dishes uh -huh. and uh -huh. salsa probably. And salsa. Mm hmm. That's great. That's great. We we that would be something I would like to venture out on with our salsa. And all so good. And this is um, purple cabbage. Purple cabbage. Yeah, we have some of that planted. Ours uh, didn't do too well. Yeah, but. we're waiting for it to dry out outside. Yeah, so you can plant them. Okay, and then what have you got over here? Seeds start over here. Yes. Yeah? Uh, oh, I like the way you got them. There, You're the using eggs. the. Um, yeah. I think they start the best in right. things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then in there is different kinds of tomatoes. Different kinds of tomatoes. 
So what what flavors do you have in there? Do you know? I see big boy, or I see some. Um, that's green. Uh -huh. They're um they get big and they're when they're ripe they're still green. Uh huh. But they taste really good. Oh good. Like, one of my like do fried green tomatoes with right? Yeah, um, they are, but they're they get soft. Oh, do so they? Uh huh. And then there's orange tomatoes. Uh huh. And striped. Oh, look at her little setup. So you're using tomatoes. your your tin as a. Uh, uh -huh. And then I'll take the dirt and put it up. And then as they get taller, just You'll add more dirt. Add more dirt. And whenever it's time, just cut them out. Cut them out. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That is a great idea. Man, this is a beautiful setup, Mary, that you have. And this is solely your responsibility? Do you? Pretty this much. is your baby? <laughs> yeah. Right. We all have our babies. That's exactly right. Well, thank you so much for taking us on a little tour. I love it. I, we've been wanting one. And hadn't really figured out how to get one incorporated, but yep, got me got me some ideas. So this is very 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 nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, that'd be fine with me. Yeah, grab one, boys. See if you can get a striped one. I like the striped <laughs> get ones. Get a striped one. Get a striped one. <laughs> oh, oh, almost. you had him almost. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! <laughs> who, who needs the city fair when you can just kind of yeah. watch it right here? Get it. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> How cute is that? Get this one here. He's the best striper. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps slipping away. I tell you what. Uh-oh. Uh I think he's done something now. <laughs> he got a hold of it. There we go. Good job. Bring it right on over. That's right. Good job. <laughs> Way to go. You want him, Jay? Yeah. There we go. Seems hey, like buddy. when you hold them by their back legs like that, they don't squeal quite as loud. Yeah. That's right. Good. All right, guys, we fishing to head out from Tennessee back to Alabama. We just want to thank Mike and his family for having us up here for just a just a little chat anyway. I hope maybe to come back someday and, and maybe help him butcher a hog and uh, show him what little bit I know. And uh, But anyway, y'all check out his channel. It's McGee Homestead Adventures. I think I got it right that time. And, uh, and, and watch his work ethic, work ethic and his mm -hmm. youngest work ethic and i think you'll be inspired absolutely but uh i just want to thank y'all for watching and we pray you know that god will bless y'all and your family mm. and remember Oh my gosh, that little bitty piggy. Yeah, he ain't very big. He's too tiny. Here, let me show him where the water is. Yeah, heck, he could have shipped that joker in the box. <laughs> All right, guys, we just made it back from Tennessee. <laughs> um, we we went and got us a mango eat some pig, and uh, sister in law will show you him in just a second. We just found and, the feed. Uh, we actually went up there more so to meet Mike and his family. Uh, if you hadn't tuned into their channel, I know I said it at the beginning of the video, but um, it's uh, McGee Homestead yeah. Adventures. And uh, you will be impressed with their work ethic and their children's work ethic. And uh, It was a blessing meeting Besides them. that, yeah, it was just a blessing meeting them. They're really fine, good Christian people. 
and uh, we were just impressed with the whole family and, and the hospitality they showed us. But we drove 14 hours today, seven hours up there and seven hours back. And uh, like I said, it was more so to meet the family. We've been wanting one of these pigs and, and they say they're outstanding as far as taste. And uh, so we're gonna give one a try. We got us just one to see how it goes. And, uh, but if we like them, we may get some more of them. And uh, they don't get as big as uh, probably regular domestic pigs, but they'll get up, he'll get up around 300 probably before we butcher him, maybe 250. Probably Micah said he butchered one at 300 and had fat on him about that thick. So we probably won't let him get quite that big. We just want some nice bacon off of him. They, they have really good sides and uh, make real good bacon. But anyway, I'm just rambling. Remember what I like to say, a simple life is a much more enjoyable life. And we just want to thank y'all for watching our channel and uh, those of you that do. And uh, the best thing you can do to help us is tell somebody else about our channel. We sure would appreciate it. And uh, we pray that God blesses you and yours. <clears throat> and tomorrow's Easter, so remember to celebrate the resurrected Christ. And uh, we thank you again for watching. <laughs>